Uh, let's talk about the other part of the brain. It's called the cerebellum. Everybody say cerebellum. Cerebellum. All right. Now, right off the bat, it's responsible for only 10% of what happens in the brain. 10%. What? Yeah. So it says it makes up about 10% of the human brain's total volume. Okay? So now, 10% of the human brain's total volume. Okay, is it important? Yeah. I did some research on this and it said that the cerebrum is one-eighth the capacity of the cerebrum. That's right, that's right. Yeah, but that's not the cerebrum. The, the, the cerebrum is the first one we just discussed. This is the cerebellum. Yeah, 85%. 85%. One-eighth of it is not the cerebrum. 85% is where? What's this called? Well, this hair, the what we call the what? The four? Okay. The forebrain, okay? The forebrain or the frontal cortex. Okay, so if you want to get really fancy, the front of the brain is called the frontal, F-R-O-N-T-A-L, cortex. Okay, otherwise known as what we just discussed, all right, the cerebellum. Now, okay, there you go. Now, what else do we need to know about the cerebellum, okay? First of all, what, is it, what do you think it's responsible for? Functions? Yeah, what do you think, how, how does it function? What do you think it does for us? Uh, now think about it, it's only 10%. How about smooth? It was, uh, balance. What do you think? How about walk? All right, I'm gonna tell you what it says. The cerebellum is part of the brain most responsible for balance and posture. Oh, yeah. Balance and posture. What does it mean if you have bad posture? You can't walk. You stick my walk. Not you can't walk. If you have bad you posture. Can't. You're not handicapped. You can't walk. <laughs> Who said slouch? Yeah, so if you see somebody walking like this. They're slouching. They're fat. <laughs> I mean, they have bad, they have bad posture. Now, what's responsible for you to stand upright? You see how when you stand up straight? Okay, that's your cerebellum. Also, balance. For example, if I'm standing here on my two feet, right? Yeah. What's keeping me from falling down? Uh, your cerebellum. Cerebellum. But what do I say is inside the brain that also controls your balance? Uh, your head, your brain. My brain's there, but what's also inside the skull? Cerebrum. No, what do we say if we start spinning? Uh, water. The liquid, yes. Yeah, so if the liquid is off, then my balance is going to be off. Now what controls the balance is the cerebellum. What if I stand on one foot? What's helping me to stand up on one foot right now? The cerebellum, the cerebellum okay? Cerebellum. When you're, uh, when you're riding your bicycle or you're roller skating, what keeps you from falling down is your cerebellum. Now, if you injure that, though, what's going to be your biggest problem? Can't balance. Can't balance. Now, if you can't balance, can you function in society? No, because everything... Yeah, yeah, so I Very good. So now it says the cerebellum lies towards the back of the brain. So let's say it's my brain. I'm going to cut it in half. Here it is back here. Here? Okay? Right back here. Now, what is that? when you wear a helmet, does it protect the back of your brain? Yeah. For example, if I fell down right now, yeah. from right here, and as I fell down, I hit the back of my head on this printer, Ouch. what would be the problem that I would suffer from if I tried to get up? Balance. Balance. Balance, right? I wouldn't be able to balance. Now, if I fell forward and I hit the front of my head, what would be my three problems? Balance. Nope. Skull. What do we say the front is part for? Heartbeat. Heartbeat may be irregular. What else? Oh, my my breathing may be off. I may have a sudden urination. Issue. I could go to the bathroom on myself right now. <laughs> okay, because why? By hitting my head too hard, I lose control of my what? Body. My body or well, my faculties. So, if I make the mistake of falling forward and hitting my head forward here, and then I fall backwards and in the back of my head, then I really got a problem, right? Yeah. Because I can't breathe. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I I have no control of my uh, ability to go to the bathroom, and I can't balance, so I can't get up. <laughs> All right? So that's why the head is so important. Is it the front of the brain that is homosexual? Section, yes, and it's also responsible for that as well. So I'm going to have a lot of problems going on, okay? Now, going forward, it says, the main thing I want you to write, and this is the science term that will be on the test, the back of your brain, this part of your brain, it's called the occipital lobe. Okay, write that down. O C C I P. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
okay? I T A L Lobe, L O B E. Okay, write that down. That's important, okay? And the front of your brain, like I said earlier, this part is the front, okay? That's called the frontal cortex. Or you can call it the frontal lobe.